my god, can we talk about Kevin Knox tonight? I think we see Willis coming out. Knoxon cuts left, now fires a three, and it's good! And he's fouled! Guys, what's up? Terry and Chill, we're back. Trey's back from the Caribbean. Hello, vacate, but we got some serious news to talk about. LeBron James left the Eastern Conference because who was coming for him? Kevin Knox. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? We, listen, I was here flipping out. I know it's a summer league game, and I've been preaching. You know, it doesn't matter. It's summer league. But what did we got caught up? We kind of got caught up. We, we initially we actually were a little disapp disappointed that Frank wasn't playing because yeah. we really did want to see him play. Of course. And we were like, you know, watching the game anyway. Should we film a show today? Didn't know if we should or not. Then Kevin Knox came out of the blue and was like a beast. He scored 13, 13, 16, 16, 16 points, 16 points yeah. in the third quarter. Like wow, he had wow. Us, he had us up on the, on our feet, like acting like this was like a regular season game. And you know what's crazy about thinking about this, like you just said, right? I'm watching Kevin Knox in the summer league in his third game, and they've not played three games in what four or five days, so mm -hmm. it's it's not back a lot of turnover, back. right? He's out here like the man, and I'm like, can you imagine this guy at the garden? <laughs> yeah, so, so so actually, so I'm actually interested to see how this transitions because. He is playing at the Summer League, obviously a much smaller stage, not that big audience, not that New York like crowd, not in the Garden. So I'm really interested to see if he's going to bring the same energy to the Garden. He's scoring and he's holding on to that rim and he's like... He's giving you the oh, three! I, I'm like loving it. So, he, I, so I really, I want to see that. I really want to see that. Funny enough, I don't even doubt it because what I'm seeing today, especially today, right, is when we made that crazy run. And it's a shame we couldn't come back and win the game, but it's summer league, right? So we're looking for development. Development and letting the letting these young guys play. That's exactly. It. Um, but what I saw when he did that on that run was that he wanted the ball. He wanted to be the man, and that's such an exciting thing to see from an eighteen-year-old guy because that shows me that's someone who is going to go to the garden and not be afraid. That someone's going to go. And he said it from the jump, right? He said, "I came in from Kentucky, one of the um, you know the you know there are a lot of eyes on the Kentucky program." So he's able to perform like that with the media attention in college. He kind of knows closest thing you can kind of get to playing for New York. He also seems to have a maturity about him. Um, you know, this like self like confidence. Um, so I think that's going to be great for New York as well, as opposed to some of the other players, some of the other young guys that got drafted that I would not have wanted in New York because they seem <laughs> to have a lot of arrogance, a little cocky with that like high school she, she, She's guy. talking about Michael yeah. Porter. <laughs> <laughs> she was not on the Michael Porter train no, and you know what? Wasn't. I can't blame her. You, listen, it, it's, it, you know, as Knicks fans, you know, we're always looking forward to what's next. We're always excited um, for the team mid season. And I've said this before in the past couple of videos. This is a little bit different. This isn't just, oh, we got Derrick Rose and Noah this season. This is like, oh my God, we have a future. I almost feel like this game, even though we lost, even though it's a summer league game in July, literally that third quarter is something you're going to look back when Kevin Knox is leading us to a third straight championship. <laughs> um, but you're going to look back and be like, it was there. Yeah. You can see the signs and you hear the NBA talking about us. Oh, they, so the they, they are talking it about him non-stop. They are like, wow, what a pick. Like we... I think we lucked out. Well, not that we lucked out. I think these guys did their homework. I think that yeah. um, I think that Fisdale and, and Perry, Perry yep. and Mills like knew what they wanted, and that's why they made this choice. So we are happy. Uh, listen, we are so happy. I think I took off my shirt. It was embarrassing. <laughs> so I think one of the things we're kind of worried about uh, about Kevin Knox before was not his desire, right? What, what kind of guy was he? He got some criticism in college for being a bit laid back, and I think his personality and his demeanor makes you think that. But he said, you know, that's not the player he is. And what I just saw him in that third quarter putting those fears to rest. I don't think Nick fans have anything to worry about when it comes to his fire. Yeah, I think I think he's gonna be. I'm, I'm happy. I'm real happy. Yeah, I cannot wait to go to the first game and watch him play and be there to cheer him on, and welcome him to New York. Yeah, and let him know with it all that we are all here to support him. He did say um, he's gonna change those uh, those booze right booze into chairs. Listen, keep booing because keep booing. This it seems to be like a two New York for two thing. so far. It's a, it's a New York thing. <laughs> We're like booing all the draft picks and you know giving them that like this is what New York is about. Keep it real. Yeah, and you gotta prove you gotta prove yourself. I think that, I think that's what New Yorkers really feel. Is yeah. like you gotta you gotta come into this league and prove yourself. You're playing for the New York Knicks. You gotta prove yourself. All right, so moving on. Uh, Frank didn't play today, as we spoke about before. So what I saw a lot of sloppiness, right? 
on offense, they can really get into their spots. Frank is the one they who usually needed directs that point them. God to direct them on what to Tell do. Them. So you could see it was kind of iffy, but I gotta say, I'm eating crow tonight. Alonzo Trier, who I've been shitting on. For the past two shows, show me a whole different side of his game tonight. Uh, he was a lot more, I think, being put in that point guard role now without Frank. He knew he couldn't just shoot the way he did, and he was a lot better facilitating. I'm looking here, I think he had like, you know, six assists. Was it six? Five assists? Five assists, um, 21 points, and what? He had 10 rebounds. That's pretty, pretty impressive. So, almost a triple double. All right, so Alonzo, I'm taking a step back. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Um, I'm not gonna be harping on you too much. I like what I saw, and I'm seeing progression game to game. So, I think as a, uh, you know, what do you think about Fizdale, by the way? It's great seeing Fizdale at oh, Summer yeah, he's, League, he's right? He's in every single game. He is front and center. I think the um, the players are really feeling that he is there to support them 100%. He was screaming when Kevin Knox made he's, those He's loving threes. it. He's loving it. He's <laughs> getting ready to go to Latvia to visit with KP. I think he's, go, he's going to visit him. Maybe in Latvia or maybe, or maybe in, somewhere maybe, in Europe. Maybe Madrid. But, but he's yeah. going to go visit, uh, meet up with, he's going to go meet up with KP. Yeah. Which is great. He's definitely showing uh, all that, a lot of interest in his guys. And the guys are feeling it. They're such a family. I really feel like they're a family, like a team. And for once, the Knicks front office has done what we always want them to do, which is nothing. chill. <laughs> nothing. Exactly. Nothing. <laughs> Stop changing the team every year. It's my number one complaint about the Knicks. Right. Every year they change the team. No, no, no. No! I think I spoke about this before. We did. And so this is great. They're not changing the team again. Yes, we're getting a new draft pick. Um, which which you get every year, but they're not changing up the team. And did we speak about Mitchell Robinson at all? No, I was about to get him the next. So uh, Mitchell Robinson today again. We saw some of that sloppiness um, in terms of him just not being game ready or you know really. You know, he has a raw physical skill, but you can still see that on the court, he still makes some mistakes here and there. Um, with him, uh, I want people to remember this, to be patient. I think we're seeing the highlights, right? We saw a great block. This this game came out to the perimeter and blocked a three-pointer, which is incredible. Blocking three-pointers aren't easy, and his length and his athleticism is crazy. But he is going to take some time, and I think... I don't want people to go into this league, the actual season where we start in um, October... Expecting him to already be good, you know, he's gonna it's take his time. Year it's his first year, his first year playing. Um, it's it's summer league now, so if he's struggling a bit in summer league, you're gonna see a bit more of that. But here's a good sign, right? Even in a game today when he struggled a little bit more, he still had 13 points, he had eight rebounds, and he had three blocks. Like he's productive, and that's what I'm seeing from all these young guys right now, specifically Knox and Robinson, obviously, and even Trier today, is that they're productive no matter what. One of my kind of criticisms about Frank, even though I love Frank, was that sometimes he just kind of no, not really be doing anything. Mm -hmm. Like, he, he'd be playing some decent defense, but then you look at the box score at the end of the night, he really had many right. points, rebounds, and assists. Even when Knox and Mitchell are having bad games, they're, they're still putting up added. numbers. They're putting numbers they're up still. Yeah. And then looking now at Frank and how he's developed, I really think having someone like him who's not just trying to score, who wants to kind of keep everyone in line, it fits really good. With a guy like Knox who's going to be scoring, with a guy like KP who's going to be scoring. Those Knox. That Knox third quarter reminded me of KP beginning of last season. Yeah, we were at the Garden last year when KP's going off, and we couldn't believe it. Yeah, we were like, "This guy is—is is this guy this good right now?" Quick notes about some other players today. Uh, Troy Williams was decent. He shot 45, 46 percent from the field. Hit a couple threes. Um, still an active, high flying guy. So I'm excited to see what he can do off the bench. I am disappointed, really disappointed, Damian Dotson. Uh, he, yeah. I don't know what it is. Uh, he, because on paper, not just on paper, when you look at him, it looks like he should be doing, he's doing the right thing or he knows what to do. But um, this game and the last game, he's had two really lackluster games and he's 24. He's 24 and he's in, sec in his second, second year. year so like, he's he went to college for four years. He's, he's not like, okay, uh, so he's actually yeah. supposed to be, at this point, he's the only one that's been playing really consistently with the Knicks and he's supposed to be kind of shining. He's supposed to be playing really well. He's supposed to be their leader yeah. at this point. He should be run He should be running the game. And he totally wasn't. I mean, Kevin took over and you could clearly see that they were throwing the ball to him, that they were going to him. And he was like the star on the on the court. Right. He was the star on the court. And that really 
technically should have been Dotson. I, I think we, even if it's not him fully, he should definitely be up there. He should be showing and, a, lot, seen, a lot more, yeah. I mean, right he's now, Trier, who I've been hating on, is looking way better than Damian Dotson. And Dotson's been working out hard. Fizdale trusts him, so we have to see what happens there. A really alarming stat, I'm looking at it now. Dotson was minus 37 tonight, which is the worst on the team. Um, compare that to Knox, who's only minus 11. And in a game that we lost by, what's that, uh, 10, um, 17 points? Um, if you're a minus 37, eh, it's not really looking too good. Um, he's, not, he's not contributing to the game. He's not yeah, contributing it's, to the it's, game. And it's we, worrying, um, but you know, we'll see. We got um, we got the playoffs starting soon. I, we don't know exactly what game we're playing at what time. It's going to happen tomorrow. They have to do the seating and all that. Um, but real quick, Isaiah Hicks, first game in Summer League. He played tonight. He played pretty well. He was actually a plus 17, so he was a positive on the floor. Um, I think he's a little pudgy. I don't really like how he looks. Uh, last year, I wasn't a big fan of him, but him and Cornette, two guys we developed in the G League last year, um, they're both going to be on the team this year. Um, so good to see Hicks get a run out and have a decent game. But I think right now, we're just all in on like Kevin Knox is looking like a real star in the making. The NBA is excited about him. I've never heard NBA like executives, except, you know, since Chris Stapps really, talk about our young players at this level, it kind of seems like they know this this guy's this legit. Guy's be, yeah. This guy's yeah. legit. Yeah. So, Kevin Knox, you got fans here. We're buying these shirts, what, next week? We're gonna be out here with our Knox shirts. <laughs> um, we're, we're, we're hyped. You should be hyped. This is a team you guys can root for. And you know what it is? It's a bunch of high character guys. Guy, yeah, yeah. Guys who are high character, they wanna work hard, they wanna get better, and Kevin Knox, man. Ah. We are all in. We are all in. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for today. We're going to be back. Uh, we're going to wait for the playoffs to see what happens. and be back some more post-game reaction. Uh, trade's back, so we got more coming out, but we're out. Peace. Peace.